1203. Check out when a reporter gets hit with tear gas. Like, comment, subscribe. Formed a line, started moving up toward the crowd. The crowd then challenged them. Uh, they made the announcement that they are breaking curfew and that they would be removed. That's when things got very, very intense here. What is happening is that protesters are firing bottle rockets and big fireworks into the precinct. There's actually there's actually a small fire burning in the precinct. Police on the roof and the and the police, the line of police moving Nicolette, moving up the street alongside the uh, the precinct are firing volley after volley of tear gas to try to clear those protesters out. Also, uh, also some flashbang uh, flashbang uh, grenades. Got hit by something. Not sure if it was a rock or a uh, canister. You okay? Uh, police. Now you can see the police moving up. Yeah, just fine. Uh, you can see the police moving down the line here. We are moving back down the streets <laughs> as protesters are to riot on the streets and trying to throw them back at police. Yeah. You can see the Miguel. Do me a favor. You can see what they're trying to do. Pro yeah. Do me a favor, please. Move yourself off to the side and find a position where you guys won't be in direct line of what's about to come your way. Yeah, well, we, we are on one street and they're pushing them back. I know, but yeah, try to move to the side because we know... Fine. We're that... fine as long as we keep moving. All right, good, good. Just be we're safe. as long as we keep moving. Because you know that everything they're going to shoot as a deterrent will come straight down yourself, the street. Curb, curb. Look at the look at the flames coming out of the Wells Fargo here to the left now. Yeah. That's that's what's been happening here all night. The uh, the fireworks has gotten more intense, and they're using the protesters are now using the fireworks as weapons. Can't just keep coming back. Keep coming back. Uh, you can see these are all ah, these are all canisters. Watch yourself. Watch yourself. Watch yourself. Watch yourself. This one. All right, now we're in the thick of it. Let's go this way. Yeah. You got to move away from that direct Let's line, Miguel. Let's go this way. <laughs> Make sure the team is safe. Don't worry about it. We see what's happening. <laughs> you all right? Yeah. That's a healthy dose. Yep. Yeah. The... Sorry, give yourself Police a second, enough. Miguel. Give yourself a second. We're with Miguel Marquez right now. He's in Minneapolis. Uh, the state police uh, have started to tell people we're going to start stepping it up now. You're going to be arrested if you don't follow the directions. There is a curfew that's been... Hard to see them, but as they move forward and advance forward, they've been taking on rocks and restarting with... Plenty of tear gas. Uh, lots of folks have been running down these streets, and you'll see people hiding behind cars. The line of the officers is now uh, moved just past the 5th Precinct here, where all the protesters ended up coming uh, when they left the 3rd pro Precinct, which is about three and a half miles uh, away from here. I don't know what you can see as Stike is able to zoom in, but a line of officers from the state uh, patrol are marching up the street. They have stopped uh, in the middle uh, of the street and they have they have sort of stopped advancing for now because I think many of the protesters have moved way back. Uh, but this is the first time that we have seen them uh, out here. For the most part, we have only seen the guys on top of the 5th Precinct. We're going to move back some because they're advancing forward a bit. Uh, but there's been plenty of fires here. We saw people breaking into the Wells Fargo. Uh, 